Have a new or new to you RV? If you don't know when your RV's fresh water tank was last sanitized or what may have gotten into that water tank during construction. For the safety of you and your family, it's time to get that job done. Hey Roamers, I'm Jamie. I'm Linda. And this is Roaming with Rosie. And we've been renovating and traveling in RVs for over 20 years. And we're heading into our third month of calling this RV our home. Yep, we call her Rosie and she's a 2006 Alpha Sia motorhome. Today we're sanitizing our fresh water system and we're going to show you step by step how to get this project done all by yourself. And you should do this at least once a year. And all you'll need is access to fresh potable water and a place where you can drain your freshwater tank. And the only things you're going to need is a few cups of household bleach, a measuring cup, and a gallon sized container. And guys, put that measuring cup back where you found it, but first clean it out. Hey Roamers, Jamie back at you. What we're going to do today is we're going to sanitize our freshwater. We just want to make sure there's no bacteria or anything like that in our freshwater. The RV, before we took it out, was in storage and we didn't do any of this didn't sanitize or anything like that and you should do that at least once a year so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through that process of sanitizing our water so we know make sure that it's nice and fresh and we're not going to have any issues one note of caution if you have a tankless water heater with a copper heat exchanger you're going to want to bypass your water heater you do not want to run chlorinated water through it Okay, so step one in the process of sanitizing the freshwater tank is we need to add some uh, bleach. So we're going to add some Clorox to, to that. You want to use a quarter cup uh, per 10 gallons. We have a 100 gallon tank, so that's 10 of those quarter cups, which equals two and a half cups into this. And then I'm going to add water to it. And then I'm going to take this and pour it into my freshwater tank. So right now I'm going to add this. I'm going to do another cup and then a half a cup and then I'm going to add water to that. Now, when you add this, you just want to make sure, now we're, we're, we have a 100 gallon tank, so we want to make sure that we're, we're full up in our fresh water tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to this, add a little water to it, I'm going to take it over to my fresh water, make sure that's topped off, and then I'm going to pour this in it, so that way we have, it's diluted correctly. Okay, so there's my two and a half cups of bleach. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to top this off with water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to take a funnel and I'm going to pour it down into my fresh water tank. Once this is in there, then I'm going to take the hose from the uh, spigot at the campsite and I'm going to top off and make sure that my fresh water tank is completely full. So before we fill the fresh water tank with Clorox, well uh, two and a half cups of Clorox, we're going to need water throughout the day because this is going to take 24 hours that we're going to let it basically seep in all of our lines and and get them nice and sanitized. So we filled up all the empty water containers that we have. We got two gallons, three gallons, four gallons this is how we're going to get through the day for washing our hands, washing our face, washing our dishes, anything like that. Because we're not going to turn that tap on for 24 hours, neither there, the shower, or the bathroom sink. As you saw, Linda filled up a bunch of water containers that we're going to use for the next 24 hours. We're not going to use any of the uh, campsite water and we're not going to use any of our, our fresh water tank because we want to let that, we're going to let it run a little bit until I smell some chlorine coming through the lines and then I'm going to shut that all down. We're not going to use any of that water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to remove this cap. I'm going to pour in my solution of Clorox and water and then I'm going to take the fresh water from the campsite, make sure that my fresh water tank is completely full. Then I'm going to close it up. I'm not going to turn, up, turn on the, camp, the campsite water and I'm going to start running some of that water through the system. 
I have this funnel and the only thing that I use it for is for this. I don't use it for anything else because I'm going to be running water through it and the Clorox and I don't want to have this be contaminated at all. I use this only for this every time. So now I took the two and a half cups of bleach that I diluted with water in this one gallon uh, container. So I'm going to pull this out now and I'm going to take the hose and I'm going to make sure that my fresh water tank is completely full. That way, know, that way we know that it's diluted correctly. Now what I did was I have this old hose that used to be my fresh water hose. And what I've done with it is I cut a piece of it off so that when we go to like in quartzite I could park next to where the fresh water was and I could put this so I didn't have a long line of hose where the water would have to run through I actually cut this length here so that I can just basically put it straight into my my fresh water inlet put it in like that and then just turn the water on and I don't have to stand there and hold it and it's not this long line so uh, you don't have to do that, it's just something I, I thought was a good idea. Oh, you're getting wet next. Okay, so it's full up. Backing out. We know we got a full freshwater tank. You want to shower, Dexter? Now what I need to do like I said, we're only going to be using our fresh water tank on the, on the RV. We're not using any of the water that's coming from the campsite. So to be able to do that, we have to run our pump because the pump is going to make the water move throughout the coach. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my pump on so I know that that's on. Now I'm going to come over here to the faucet and I'm going to let this water run and keep it on cold for right now. I'm going to let it run until... I start smelling that chlorine. You can get that chlorine smell because we added that to the fresh water. Okay, I have that smell now. So I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to turn this to the hot water side so that I'm getting it through my water heater. I want to make sure to flush that as well. So I'm going to turn this to the hot water side. Okay, now I'm smelling it in there. Okay, and I want to do that same process on all of our water fixtures. So I want to do it in the bathroom faucet. I want to do it in the shower. And then I'm also going to do it in the toilet. So now that I've run all the faucets and made sure that I could smell the Clorox solution running through the lines, I did it on the kitchen faucet, the bathroom faucet, the shower, also ran it through the water heater, and then also the toilet. I'm going to let that sit and sanitize for basically 24 hours. So we're going to let it all sit. Like I said, we're going to be using this water for brushing our teeth, washing our hands, washing dishes, and all that sort of stuff. And tomorrow morning what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my tank and then I'm going to run all new fresh water into the, the, weight, the fresh water tank. And I'm going to kind of repeat the process to where I don't smell chlorine anymore. So right now we're in a, in a holding pattern. We're going to wait for 24 hours and then we're going to go ahead and flush it all out. Now that it's been 24 hours while well, I waited for the chlorine and water solution in my fresh water tank to sanitize the tank and also my lines. What I want to do now is make sure my pump is shut off. So my pump motor is shut off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these valves and I'm going to let all the water drain out. So there's the water running out of my fresh water tank so we're gonna let that all uh, drain out and once that's all done I have to refill my fresh water tank and then flush out the lines again so I can get rid of the chlorine smell on all my lines and kind of flush that all out now that we've drained the fresh water tank with that solution of the bleach and all the water I've drained that all out 
I've refilled it with fresh water. Now what I got to do is I got to flush out all my lines with that fresh water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run water in this faucet. I'm going to do it on the cold side, the hot side, and then I'm going to do it in my bathroom sink, the toilet, and also the shower. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to run this until we no longer smell that bleach smell. And it'll take it'll take a little while for the the water to reach here where we're, we're flushing out the line, so it's going to take a couple of minutes. Okay, the cold side's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the hot water side. I don't have to have my water heater on. I just want to make sure that water is running through that part of the system. So I just want to turn it here. It's going to uh, go through the water heater side and then I'll proceed to the bathroom sink, the toilet, and then the shower. Okay, we're good. Now that I've done that, like I said, I'm going to go through the, the bathroom sink, I'm going to do the shower, and then the toilet, and then the whole process will be completed. Add this to your annual RV checklist for safe and enjoyable camping. And thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and family. And if you're not yet a subscriber, make sure and hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell so you'll be notified each time we put up a new video. And make sure to leave a comment, that way you could be part of the conversation. Until next time. See ya. Yeah.